Thank you so much for joining me for today's video I'm gonna be doing a haul slash tutorial featuring Maven Beauty and Maven Beauty is actually Fashion Nova's makeup brand um, they sent me a beautiful package and I figured today I would do I would show you everything that I got I would swatch them and then afterwards we're gonna do a tutorial of the makeup um, so if that's something that interests you then just keep on watching so they sent over their lipsticks eyeshadow palettes highlighters eyeliners and then cream eyeshadows so I'm just gonna go through each and every product I've already done the swatches I've already done the product shots and I am dying to put these products on my face guys this is torture for me so I'm just gonna start off with the cream eyeshadows because out of all the products that's something that I would use first on my face so these are your basic beat cream eyeshadows your go-to eyeshadow essentials this creamy eyeshadow is infused with marine lavender extract and can be used as a base for any eye look or worn alone for a naturally blended beat smooth over eyelids with a finger or a brush so I'm gonna start off with the shade brulee, which is a really pretty like yellowy beige. These are actually vegan um, And these are so freaking smooth It's so creamy so smooth. It's not dry and then I'm gonna go in to Teddy This is like a cooler toned mauve gray a really unique color um, I really like this I can't wait to try this one out and then we have cool cafe Which is a really pretty like light mauve purple also cool toned. I think this is a very unique shade as well then we're going on to Coquito, which is like my perfect cream eyeshadow color. Like I'll put this all over my lips and that's that's going to be my primer. Um, perfect shade for me, like a light beige. And then lastly, there's Alpaca, which is a really light, light beige. It's lighter than Coquito. I think this shade is going to be absolutely great for like cutting your crease or just like if you want like a really bright lid, this is like a good base. So these are all of their cream eyeshadows. Um, like I said before, they're so creamy. They're not thick. They're the perfect consistency. Now we're getting into the eyeshadow palettes. These are your basic beat eyeshadow palettes. Your go-to eyeshadow essentials, these bite-sized palettes each serve a basic fun function. Blend, define, or spotlight the foundation to any eye look or wear alone for a naturally blended beat. Suitable to apply dry or wet to eyelids with a finger or a brush. Really quick, the outer packaging. Number one, I love black and white, so I was automatically sold. But this is just really pretty. I love the pop of orange. I just think it's really unique. And then the eyeshadow palette actual this packaging is super unique i've never seen these before they're so sleek and thin these i love the see-through kind of like plastic acrylic or whatever it's just it's really really pretty guys and like i said i've never seen eyeshadow palettes like this before i think it's beautiful so starting off with the soft blend eyeshadow palette i think this is perfect for people with light skin tones it has the perfect brow bone highlight and the perfect transition and blending colors this is my this is going to be my new go-to like basic eyeshadow so then we're going to move on to the medium blend eyeshadow palette i think this is perfect for people with medium tan skin tones even if you have a fair skin tone you can use these as transitions and crease colors and if you have a deep skin tone you can definitely get away with again like using them as blending colors or even brow bone highlights these are all matte and they just feel so nice they're creamy next up we have the bold blend Oh my god, for deeper skin tones, this is the perfect eyeshadow palette. And even for me, I'm really fair. I can see myself using these as crease colors, transition colors. I can use this, oh my god, for so, so many different looks. I love this color scheme. I think it's really unique. It's beautiful. This orange swatches. <gasps> so pretty. So pigmented, guys. We're moving on to the Define eyeshadow palette, which uh, these are going to be your crease colors. Starting off with a beautiful, beautiful plum. I love purple, so this is perfect for me. You get a beautiful chocolatey brown, a blackened plum, and then of course you get a super pigmented black. This black eyeshadow doesn't this isn't playing any games like it is all about business it's super super pigmented last but certainly not least is the shimmer eyeshadow palette this is their spotlight palette beautiful light all over the lid shimmery shades you get a really pretty gold color like a neutrally kind of like icy pink you get a bronze like a light bronze and then you get a rose gold color i think these are perfect shimmery colors last eye product these are their maven waterproof liquid eyeliner 
eyeliners. This waterproof liquid eyeliner features a calligraphy worthy brush applicator and a no wastage delivery system to ensure an always fresh application packed into one convenient pen. Available in matte and shimmering pearl shades, this liquid eyeliner also doubles as an eyeshadow. These colors are beautiful. There's one that's my absolute favorite and I'm definitely using it today. So let's get into the swatches. The first one is a beautiful gold. It's called 24 karat. And what's really cool about these is when you open this up and I have like a little demonstration, first you have to remove and discard the little black clip. Then you have to firmly snap cap into the base and then shake before use, carefully twist bottom to dispense product. So it's like you just twist the product so that the product isn't just sitting. You twist it up every time you want to use the eyeliner, you twist it up and then you use the product. I think that's super cool. I see this with concealers, but eyeliners, like I've, I've never seen this technique with an eyeliner. So the first shade, beautiful, it's 24 karat. It is, well, 24K beautiful shimmery gold gorgeous the second shade mama mama juana Ooh, i don't know if i said that right i'm so sorry but mama juana what i'm not gonna put you the name more than i already have so this eyeliner is a beautiful shimmery olive green guys this is going on my eyes today i am so excited it's a beautiful beautiful color they also have a standard brown which is awesome i love brown eyeliner i used to use it all the time and then there's also a black you can't go wrong with a black eyeliner these are super super pigmented so those were the eyeliners let's move on to the highlighters oh my god i'm so excited i have two here maven highlighters meet the next generation of highlighters a unique wet tech process intensifies pearlescent pigments with a top secret blend of liquid binders for the perfect union between cream and powder. Squalane mimics the skin's natural oils for a second skin glassy sheen. Apply to the high points of your face and body using a sponge or brush for an ethereal glow. First one that I have here is Drippin' Out, which is a beautiful golden-y highlight. Great for tan skins, deeper skin tone. I can pull this off. This is light enough, but I think I'm going to prefer the second highlighter that I'm about to show you. The swatch beautifully they're soft they're creamy second highlighter is called draped up it's on like the rose gold side again tan skin tones deep skin tones i believe this will look really really nice on all skin tones and lastly we have their maven lipsticks maven lipsticks this luxurious lipstick features soft focus pigments and a 3d polymer that locks in color so the first shade that i have is sus and i think the packaging guys bright orange it's actually a magnetic closure which is super cool it has maven um, on the actual tube so sus is a nice like pinky mauvey shade next lipstick that i swatched is called buena this color is snatched which i think is my favorite color then we have thrills lastly we have the beautiful bright red this one is called maven red super pretty super super bright all right guys, so those were all of the swatches. Now it's time to put these products in action. This is the moment I have been waiting for. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we are going to do our eyes and then I'm gonna come back, do my highlighter and then finish off with lipstick. All right, so I'm starting off by taking the cream shadow in Coquito and I'm priming my eyes with this. I just put some on my lid and then I'm blending it out with my finger. This is super pigmented and it's also just really nice and creamy. It's not drying at all. So I really enjoyed this on my eyes. I know I swatched them earlier, but on my eyes, it's it's beautiful. It worked out very nice for me. Then I'm taking the soft blend eyeshadow palette, picking up that shade, and this is gonna be my transition in blending color. I'm just going back and forth with the fluffy brush, nothing new, nothing crazy. Crazy. So here I picked up the Bold Blend eyeshadow palette, picked up that warm chocolatey brown and put it in my crease and in the outer V. I wanted to deepen up the crease but I didn't want to go super dark really quickly so this is just a good like medium blending shade. And these shades guys, they're not dry, they're not accentuating my wrinkles which I'm so happy about. I am doing this voiceover outside so if you guys hear anything strange that's what's going on. It's so beautiful outside, the weather is great so I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't help myself. Here I went into the Define eyeshadow palette, picked up that darker brown, and here is when I really start to amp up the crease. Um, I'm just taking that on this little brush, blending it in the crease, in the outer V, making sure there aren't any harsh lines. And then, my new favorite thing, I, I love to use black eyeshadow, so I took this little fluffy brush, put it precisely in the crease and in the outer V.
So now I'm taking the alpaca cream eyeshadow, which is the lightest one, and I'm just going to cut my crease halfway. Um, this did a phenomenal job. I don't even think I'm going to use concealer. This was great. It was a little bit thinner, which is better so it doesn't look so thick on my eyes. Okay, now we're going into our lid shade. I decided to use this like bronzy kind of goldish color. It's very hard to describe, but I put it on with a brush and then I found that my finger did a much better job and look how pretty the shine is. I really, really like this shade. And then of course, I'm just blending out the edges with a fluffy brush, just making sure there aren't any harsh lines. I did my whole concealer routine off camera and then I'm back highlighting right underneath my eyebrow and also just blending out the edges of my eyeshadow. I used the Soft Blend eyeshadow palette, it's the lightest shade. And then it's time for eyeliner, I used this beautiful shimmery olive green, this is gorgeous. Just look how nice it just glides across my lid. I like to sharpen up the edges of my eyeliner so I did take some concealer and just sharpen that edge and look how beautiful guys it turned out. All right, guys, so my eyes are finished. I am obsessed. The shadows, guys, so easy to blend. They're so creamy. They blend so well with each other. They're not dry. They don't get stuck in my wrinkles because I'm 30 years old, guys. I got some wrinkles here. This just looks so beautiful, so elegant. This eyeliner, I was a little worried at first because you guys know I'm not great at eyeliner. This was so easy to use. I couldn't believe how easy it was i was like i don't know if today's just my day or this is just super easy but beautiful this green so i'm gonna pop on some false lashes maven beauty does have their own false lashes i just don't have them so i'm gonna pop up uh pop on my own and then i'm gonna come back we're gonna do my highlighter and then come back again and we're gonna do a lipstick I completely forgot about my lower lash line, so I just took the black outline, the outer third of my lower lash line, and then I blended that out with that chocolatey brown from the Bold Blend eyeshadow palette. Alright guys, so while I'm baking, I'm going to apply my highlighter. I picked up Draped Up, which is the more rose goldy one. Um, if anything, I'll put Dripped Out right on top, just so we can see what it looks like together. But I'm just putting it on my brush. And applying it wow wow these are frosty like in a good way like you're gonna people are gonna see you from miles away that is so pretty wow these definitely are not wow look at my nose these are definitely not subtle highlights and I'm I'm totally with it I love blingy highlights just putting some on my forehead. I'm going to do a little on my chin. And I'm done. This highlighter is crazy. Actually, let's just try dripped out. I'm going to put it in the inner corners just to give it a little extra va-va-boom. I'm going to pick up just a little shader brush. This one's definitely more gold. Um, I think draped up, the rose gold one fits my skin tone a little bit more. But hopefully they come out with, you know, different highlighters eventually. Um, so yeah, that's, wow, the highlighter's crazy, crazy. All right, guys, for lips, I'm going to go with Snatched. I just feel like it suits this look a little bit better than the others. I hate the way I apply my lipstick, so please forgive me. This looks really nice, but I think I'm going to put Buena on top just to deepen it up a little bit more, I think. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, before I get into the overview of the products and everything, I just wanted to give Maven Beauty a super huge thank you for sending me these products, letting me swatch them, haul them, do a makeup tutorial. Really means the world to me, so thank you, thank you so much. Um, so honestly, guys, overall, I loved everything. Like, there wasn't one thing that I didn't like. Everything that I used, I really enjoyed. My makeup looks really, really good. I gotta say, my eyes look good, my highlighter, oh my god, it's like out of this world. Lipstick feels so soft, so smooth. I'm just, honestly, I'm really happy with everything. The cream shadows are, I mean, I use it as a primer and my eyeshadow is not creasing or anything. It was my perfect shade. Coquito for me is my perfect shade. I used Alpaca, Alpaca, right? Ooh. Alpaca, yes, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with the names yet, but Alpaca, I cut the crease out and it did a phenomenal 
job blended out really well the edges you know i usually blend that out it's just it was a perfect base for the shimmer eyeshadows um so the cream eyeshadows are perfect and i've been looking for a new eyeshadow primer and i think i found the one i'm going to be using coquito so the cream bases are awesome the eyeshadow palettes guys these blended out so well the matte shades are so easy to use they're pigmented but they're all you can also build them up so they're a little bit easier to use a little more forgiving and i love eyeshadows like that the shimmers beautiful they're very shimmery almost a little bit metallic i kind of wish they would come out with maybe deeper shimmer shades these are all on the on the light side great for all over the lid but in the future i would just like to see maybe darker shimmers um what else i think this oh the eye oh my god the eyeliners guys this green eyeliner i am obsessed it definitely makes my eyes pop i love this color super easy to use the little technique of opening it up and, and and putting the cap on is a little you know it's different but i mean it's you only do it once and you're done but the quality of the eyeliner guys this is amazing i'm i'm shocked at how easy it was for me to do my eyeliner today because it usually takes me hours and maven beauty does have other colors than the ones that i share with you guys today so i will be leaving a link down below so you can see what other things that they have so the eyeliner i loved the highlighter i mean if you want a subtle highlight these are not subtle at all these are bam in your face highlighters and i love highlighters like that so i am very very happy with it absolutely i like draped up a little bit better just because the color um then dripped out but maybe they will come out with more highlighters eventually different colors and then the lipsticks guys it's just it feels really nice on my lips it's not drawing I don't know it just feels nice um again maybe they'll come out with more shades but I'm super happy with everything that I got I I feel like I don't have anything else to say I'm I'm really really happy with my look like I kind of don't want to take it off but you know it's got to go it's super late at night but Super impressed with everything. Um, I will, like I said, I'll leave links down below and you guys can check them out uh, yourself. I know they have eyelashes, they have brushes, they have these glitter eyeshadows that look, oh my god, amazing. Like they have cosmic eyeshadow palettes. Check out their site, see if you guys like anything. I feel like they have sales a lot. Um, so yeah, I think that's all that I have to say, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see next and I'll see you next time. Bye.